r slash ask reddit what is your this person has no idea how the real world works moment a friend of mine saw a guy getting arrested in college kid was struggling and cussing out the cops like crazy do you know who my father is a cop humored him and asked he owns the number one used car dealership in upstate new york we were in massachusetts they were unimpressed by his legacy and took him in Edit I do not know any used car dealers in upstate New York and this was 1995. If there's one way to impress people from MA it's by telling them you are from NY. I assume he was actually trying to play the my dad is rich card more than the I'm a big deal in upstate New York card. I assume alcohol was involved. So poor messaging. Guy sold his rent a center TV and couldn't understand why they threatened to charge him for theft. Don't even rent TVs period. If you can't afford a TV you prob have more important things to deal with. I knew a guy who did this for a PS3. Pay 30 pounds a month for 36 months and it's yours. Comes to over 4 times what one would cost him if he saved. First day at college. Girl next to me raising her hand and waiting for the rat to call on her asks what time will the cleaning services be cleaning our rooms. Man did she make me feel better. I was poor and got a scholarship. I was so stressed I'd do something stupid first but she totally jumped on that fire for me. I've met this kind of people before but in high school. Guy was rich and a lady would come and clean. Wash clothes and refill napkin containers. Water bottles etc. One time she got sick and was absent for a few days of the week. Man could you tell just by looking at the piles of clothes and trash everywhere. I kid you not. There were a pair of jeans with underwear inside them on the living room. The only place of the house I entered. Some of these rich guys depend so much on room service. There are people who exist like this and are adults. It's crazy. Edit. Since people seem to be misunderstanding me. I'm not talking about people who pay others for house care. I'm talking about adults who think it is the norm to have these services provided. And do not understand that this is not a standard thing that everyone experiences. And are lost without it. Someone I know bought a house and expected Wi-Fi to be included with the house. Edit. It was a house. Not apartment including these kind of facilities. Also. She meant not only Wi-Fi signal, but also the internet service. Did they also think electricity was free? It wouldn't surprise me. We broke contact since. This kid at my school thought taxes weren't real and just a story. The tax fairy. I've dedicated my life to finding its nest. A vicious beast of a fairy that eludes my capture at every turn. My uncle raised his two kids in Hong Kong by forbidding them from watching any TV take public transportation, or being out by themselves at any time. They spend their days at an English-only international school, then come home after school and read English books. One day we had a family gathering, very rare because apparently Chinese food is not good for them, and I realize that these kids are raised in Hong Kong but they speak no Chinese. They don't know how to use public transportation. They have no friends. They are uninformed about what's happening in the world outside of their school and their home. And they are just really uncomfortable around people in general. They turn 18 this year. These two kids have no idea how the outside world is like at it. I should clarify. Every person involved in this story is native Hong Kong Chinese. When parents use North Korea as inspiration for parenting techniques. You don't have an underground nuclear missile silo? Met a guy at uni who thought Chinese people would be unaffected by the rise of superbugs because they were too smart to fall victim to it. Both a pharmacy student and a Chinese person could not convince him otherwise. That's an odd reason like they were too smart and they would implement policies. Treatments or something? Did he just straight up think that because of intelligence the bugs wouldn't affect them? Yep, you need con to boost those fort saves. Had a woman call into work, banking, and ask for her mortgage payoff. It was like 40,000 ish. She said there was no way that was right because her payment book only had 3 more coupons in it and she thought it was done when the coupons were. She couldn't comprehend that she had a 30 year mortgage and that she didn't get a coupon book for all 30 years. She only got 3 years at a time and because she had an adjustable rate. I had to call backups to explain to her that she still owed 27 more years. Edit to add, location, rural PA probably a tiny home that needs work, 40k is possible in this area still, 
Coupon books tell you when your payment is due and what amount. If you don't bank online or want to mail a payment in. Amish and old folks still don't use internet here as a norm. 40. 000 for 27 more years. Sweet Jesus that's nothing. Roughly $150 $175 a month. I'd cry tears of joy. I was in the army with someone who wanted to know when the maids came to do laundry in basic training. I was in the air force. We didn't have maids in basic. But we turned in our laundry once a week. Our uniforms came back cleaned and pressed. But we had to fold everything else. We also had to make sure to get all the dry cleaning tags off our uniforms or the TIs would get pissed. I was in the army. During basic we did our own laundry we had the option to have our uniforms cleaned pressed once a week. But we had to pay for it. Roughly 50% of the time the uniforms would come back with stains or broken zippers. My cousin and I were talking one day and and I mentioned that I had a horrible sense of direction. Where my brother could be dropped off in a cornfield and find his way home. She replied that it was easy to find your direction. Just remember never reach shredded wheat and you will know where north is. I laughed and said that was for remembering the directions in order. Not for finding which way was which. We argued for 20 minutes till I told her to show me how it works. She stands up and point forward and says never reach shredded wheat. And points to the direction she was facing when she stood up. That's north. So I told her to face me and then find north. She does it again. Never eat shredded wheat. And points at me and says that's north. So ask her if north just changed. She says no. But north was that way a minute ago. She looks confused and says why didn't that work. I told her it was because she was an idiot. I told her it was because she was an idiot. I would have taken my east arm and slapped her upside the head. S. Got into a fender bender in high school. I was driving a car that cost me $300. Had been sitting on concrete blocks at a cousin's. Patched it and bought wheels. And I was absolutely devastated. The kid who hit me wasn't freaking out at all and kept saying his dad would get him another one. Why was I so worried about an old car? Once the dad got there. It turned out this is the third car his kid had wrecked. For that school year. Edit. Apparently I shouldn't have said fender bender. We use that term pretty loosely just to say no one was hurt but the car is sad. The kid hit my front right side going too fast and messed up my axle. And obviously bodywork. I was freaked out because a new car or any fixes to my current car were coming out of my own pocket. This kid was getting his fixed or replaced by his dad and couldn't understand why I'd be upset about my old beta. Edit 2. Did not get a brand new car from insurance. But I saved up and bought my grandma's car when she stopped driving. That giant book. Yes it was a Les Saber in Forest Green. Was invincible and lasted me the rest of high school and college. When I sold my first car. The guy who bought it from me got it for his son. Who was on his fifth car. He'd had his license for less than two years. And they weren't a wealthy family. He had to keep buying cheaper and cheaper cars each time. I'd heard it through the grapevine that he had crashed my old car too. I just don't understand that mentality. If I handed someone a plate. And they smashed it on the floor. I wouldn't just continue handing them plates. Edit. Unless you're Greek. Then I'll give you my spare plate. My brother wanted to be a game designer. I asked how that was going and what he had been doing. Mom had gone to Walmart to pick up some art supplies so he could get designing. He did not really know what coding was in terms of game design. And did not know graphic design. He thought he could simply just draw up some swords and guns and shields and someone would pay him to do this for a living. With zero experience. He's almost 30. While reading this. I was thinking aww. That's cute. He sounds like my son. Then I got to the end. My son is 6. My son is 6. But he's already thinking like a 30 year old. Air Force. 18 year old arrives at his first duty station. He has contacted nobody. Nobody knows he is arriving today. He has figured out. By stopping at different offices and asking. Where our warehouse is. And enters the office to meet his supervision. Flanked by his girlfriend and his mother. Later on. It is discovered that he fudged his numbers on all his previous fitness tests to that point. Which is why he could barely do 25 push-ups and couldn't run to save his life. Even later on. Becomes hysterical. Subbing. Panicking. Begging and pleading when told he will deploy to Afghanistan. 
like everyone else in the squadron had been doing for years. This was 2012. We were logistics. We literally loaded airplanes all day. A guy turned up day one of my basic training. Claimed he made a mistake. Refused his uniform and cried for like 2 hours straight. They let him go as unfit for army service. Which is probably a load better for them than having the guy whinging about for the mandatory 28 days before you can leave. This is the kind of guy who shows up at parties and talks about his time in the service. My sister-in-law got in an argument with her brother slash my husband and me, stopped speaking to us, blocked us on Facebook, and then threatened to sue us for visitation rights to our 6 month old. Maybe I'm just game for a good fight, but I'd have been like do it, just to see the local judge laugh his butt off. It would have been kind of fun to go on Judge Judy so Judy could bark. That's not your baby. Go home. But in reality I wouldn't want to spend the time and money dealing with that nonsense. Went to a metal music festival with a friend and camp there. We had just woken up and she pulls out her hair straightener and asks where the outlets were. When I told her that there are no outlets on the camping grounds. She looked at me in horror and said, so I won't be able to straighten my hair for 3 days? Edit. Wow. This blew up. For anyone wondering, the festival was grass pop in Belgium. I think it was 2013 to 2014. Generators weren't allowed. They saw it as a safety hazard. And the phone charging stands just had charging cable hanging out of it. Not the outlets. There were also stands where you could give your phone with your own charger and they'd lock it up. Other than that it was just a field packed with tents. She eventually took it like a champ and just embraced the metal festival life. Had quite some fun otherwise. Studying at a festival at the gate. Check a punter who's turned up at the main gate with a camper van ticket. He goes through. Then comes back to ask where he goes to pick up his camper van. Had to very gently explain to him that you are supposed to bring your own. Then we lent him a tent. That we didn't get back. I like to think of you keeping a supply of tents for that eventuality. I'm attending grad school in Barcelona, and there are these two Colombian girls in my class who I'm pretty sure have never had to work for anything in life. We just had our first final the other day, and while the test was hard I thought it was pretty straightforward. It was essay type questions and you needed to draw on things we discussed in class to answer each question. A few minutes into the exam. One of the girl raises her hand and says she doesn't know what to do. Fair enough. The professor tells her to use class theories to answer the question asked. She then said that she doesn't know how to relate any class theories to the question. I was literally sitting there, having already answered one question having used 4-5 different class topics to answer it. I couldn't understand why she was having such a hard time. The other Colombian girl then says. Can you just write on the board which theories you want us to use to answer? She basically asked the professor of a grad school class to answer a question for her. The professor then goes a bit too far emo and gives her a few clues. 20 minutes later she raises her hand and once again asks. Can you read what I wrote and tell me if I'm right or should I do it again? In grad school? Oh my brain ray rooted to thinking it was for undergrad because that made way more sense. My dad asked if he could borrow my cat. I said no. He replied. It's okay. I'll just rent one. I didn't point out that cat rentals aren't a thing. I still don't know why he needed a cat. Maybe he had a cat in the wall and wanted to get it out. Cat in the wall eh? Now you're talking my language. I was stunned to how many people after school just expect to instantly get hired to great position with great money. I met my classmates 3 years later still jobless saying lol I finished school I won't accept job under xxx am I crazy? Dot. I knew he had no idea how anything works. Dude. I know a guy who was doing his placement year at uni. Never worked in the industry before. And he refused to apply for jobs that didn't pay him over xxx amount. But the only jobs that would pay him that much were a few hours away. Long story short, he didn't get many interviews for posts. And the ones he did, he couldn't afford to attend the interview because poor student. He ended up dropping out because he couldn't fulfill the requirements of the course. I teach at a tech boot camp. We were talking about career options the other day. When a student, 
who, remember, has about a month of training and zero job experience in this field, was like I watched a talk the other day by someone called a strategist. I'm not sure what that title means but they said they made $250. 000. So I want to be a strategist. That person got paid that money because they have 15 years of experience, not because of their title. Slow your roll. You're not going to find an ad on Indeed looking to spend 6 figures on a strategist with no experience. There was this girl at uni. Everybody was in awe whenever she talked. She didn't believe in taxes and earthquakes. Also, studying to be a social worker she said, I don't like working with retards, because I can't stop laughing at them. I real angel. How do you not believe in earthquakes? Live in a part of the world where there are none. In my life I've experienced maybe 5, and I know people who live further away from fault lines than I. Fellow college student, I don't understand why other students keep looking for free food. If they really need more money, why don't they just get more student loans? I had to explain to him that, at some point, they stop giving you student loans. Also that not everyone had parents who were willing able to support their children. And that even if you did pull out more loans than that's more money you have to pay back after university comparative to your expected entry level pay schedule in your field. I decided to leave my ex while we were in college when he took out student loan after student loan and proceeded to buy a car, a big ass TV, constantly going out to eat, out of money, time for another loan, whatever. I'm not gonna commit long term with you and struggle to pay this money back in the future. Smart move. A friend of mine decided to quit his job to become a Twitch streamer. Right off the bat I thought this was a stupid plan. But the real kicker was his timeline for his streaming career. He told me he saved enough money to pay his bills for one month. One month. And after that he would be making enough money from Twitch to pay his bills. He seriously believed that after one month he would have between 2 and 300 subs. He refused to advise or use any social media. He won't play any AAA games or even popular games. A year and a half later he's lost his apartment, his car, basically everything but his girlfriend, who he lives with. But hey he just hit 50 subs followers on Twitch and got affiliated. To him this endeavor has been a total success. Edit. 50 followers not subscribers got them mixed up. Edit 2. Well this blew up. I'm not telling you who my friend is don't ask. I don't want him getting harassed or trolled. Someone at work asked if she needed to pay to use a microwave. She decided it was too complicated to use and bought a $150 thermal lunchbox so she can take food that was cooked by her hired chef to work without needing to reheat it. Edit. To answer some common questions. She's a 30 year old heiress working her first job trying to be independent. Her parents are covering all her expenses. I wouldn't let anyone who doesn't know how to use a microwave out in public unsupervised. See what you should have done with her first question was say yes. It's $200 for the year. I'll take it for you. Oh and I'll show you how to use it. Since you've paid. Food that was cooked by her hired chef where do you work? I told my friend that I was saving up to get my bathroom remodeled and she said to me what still? It's been 2 months. Yes dear. But I have to pay my bills mortgage travel food whatever else I may need. She lives at home with her parents still and doesn't have to pay any bills rent to stay there. She's in for a shock when she moves out. They lived with a dark bedroom for 7 days waiting for the real estate of their rental property to come and change the light bulb. And on the 8th day there was light. When I learned that JFK didn't know about the great depression until he got to university. To be fair a lot of people who were dirt poor didn't know about it either because being so poor and then becoming so poor wasn't much of a change for them and they never noticed it. JFK was busy partying it up and hanging out on yachts but it wasn't uncommon for people to not know of the great depression even though they were directly involved in it. One a university field trip. Lecturer points out at a watchtower turned Starbucks. What do you see? One girl Starbucks he goes yes. But what kind of building is it or seemed to be in the past? All the class said watchtower and she goes Starbucks he asked her to look at it and she keeps insisting. Then he explained that he understood but that it she needed to understand what it was in the past. Open bracket. We were in a history class. And she went I don't get it. It's a Starbucks edit. I have commented this before. It's just that in that reddit it didn't get a lot of attention. So, 
Yeah if it looks familiar, you have your answer. Jumps off of building. WTF so she could not even conceptualize the idea of the past? When I was talking with a group of friends about trying to save money while also paying off loans and said the first month was terrible, I struggled to even save 100 pounds and a girl burst out laughing. She's never paid rent, lived with her parents who also bought her food etc, and her fiancé is super rich so was the source of the deposit on their house, and she works in telesales making plenty of commission and has lots of designer handbags. I felt like shit, but it's more of a reflection on her than me. Open bracket. Edit. I'm very lucky as I have a good salary but I also have £400 per month going on a loan I racked up paying off various credit cards and overdrafts I couldn't afford. I am not actually poor, and can't pretend to understand the struggles of those who are legitimately struggling. I'm just paying for past mistakes which mean I'm viewed by my friends as super frugal these days. People who react to that sort of stuff with laughter are just straight up stupid. This is the kind of people you find here and there that tell you in all seriousness they don't know how to boil an egg. Edit. Okay so apparently there's a lot of people that don't know how to boil eggs. I didn't mean to insult anyone. I just really like hard boiled eggs. Edit 2. I have a lot of support. I'm standing my ground. Duck non-egg boilers. Former barista here. A customer came through drive through one afternoon, ordering a custom drink that cost about $5, while on the phone, he dug change out of the corners of his van and handed me what amounted to less than $3. I continued looking at him with my hand extended, half full of dirty coins, when he just shrugged and said, that's all I got. I repeated the total and said he hadn't given me enough. Can't you just spot me with your tips? Um, excuse Emmy? First, no, that's literally my grocery money, and second, our company had a strict policy against doing just that, but I simply apologized and said no, I couldn't do that, he blew up at me, saying I wasn't being very neighborly, I again apologized and explained how I relied on my tip money to, you know, eat, instead he screamed at me again, you suck, you really suck, before driving away. Side note, it was a small town and most people there don't know how the real world works. Edit. I did not work at Starbucks. Edit 2. I gave him the money back. It was gross. My ex-wife's roof on her house was damaged from a storm. The roofing company wanted $1,700 up front to fix it. The insurance company sent her a check for $700. They would send a check for the rest when the job was complete. They sent her that little because she chose a $1,000 deductible. In anger she sent the check back. Several years later out of curiosity I looked up her name on that website that shows if you have outstanding payments coming to you and she does. I thought about contacting her and letting her know but meh. She doesn't understand the deductible. 700 bucks is 700 bucks. Sounds like the insurance company was all good with the claim. 2. Was good friends with this girl in college. I knew she was spoiled. Free reign of daddy's credit card. But it was never a big deal. After college she couldn't grasp why I couldn't spend the next 6-12 months backpacking through Europe with her. Which she wanted to do because she didn't feel like getting a job yet. The idea that I had to get a job to support myself and start paying back student loans was completely foreign to her. Her answer to everything was have your parents pay for it. Dot. Sorry honey. That is not how the real world works. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.